Okay, uh, back with another live stream. Um, I wanted to do uh, something completely different. Not really completely, but a little bit different. Um, last several streams, or I don't know, a couple of weeks, but anyway, really it seems like, but uh, my, uh, my camera one usually stays pretty good. And I mean, it's never perfect with streaming your cameras over the Wi-Fi and everything. And, you know, sometimes I'm talking on the SM58, like right now. Sometimes I'm talking on the wireless uh, mic, which is going through another phone, you know, over Wi-Fi. So, um, but, and like, uh, well, right now, uh, it looks like, I mean, I can see my mouse moving and I'm talking, but it's obviously not synced. But it's been like, you know, way, uh, the video's been way behind the audio a lot lately. And and see, conditions change uh, as you, as you stream <laughs> and uh, especially the longer you do it now, and at first and I noticed it well I really started noticing it when I'd go a long time like four hours and stuff and over I've been going like that's just crazy I just I always try to set it don't go over two hours without uh, stopping rebooting everything it, it helps everything it clears the cache the RAM and the devices and helps it work better but something going on with cam one for sure and I think cam two is probably off and so anyway, I'm going to go into my desktop and show the settings, and then I'm going to go into the phones. I'm going to put one or two of them under the uh, endoscope and show the screens. And I'm going to go into the phones and see if maybe something's gotten that changed. Yeah, you know, well, I set my phones. I don't set them to automatically connect to the you know the nearest Wi-Fi or anything. I don't ever take them anywhere. I just use them right here as they're not even don't have service. I just use them as. Uh, cameras really i used to say pocket computers but i really don't use them that way either because the screens are small and i can't read them well and and i don't like i don't like the touch interface i don't like android even though the the kernel everything underlying is like is linux i don't like the user interface of it so and the freeware setup with all the ads i'm too spoiled with open source software so uh and linux so uh <clears throat> let's see let's go to the desktop and uh when I'm on the desktop, it's pretty good. I mean, of course, you don't see a, a mouth moving or anything to, to tell, but uh, it's pretty good. Okay. When I'm on the desktop, it's check my stream, so that's working. And I actually have it set up to check over there on the, I think I'll close this. Yeah, I'm getting my backup video. I have it set up to, um, let me check it on the laptop. That's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to get going here. That's what I usually do before I start talking is uh, <clears throat> make sure everything's working on the laptop. Okay, now I'm going to leave it playing, but no audio. <clears throat> and I can look over there at it. And, of course, it's going to be a little behind. And there's the first thing you can do. Let's see. I don't know if I can show that. I used to, I couldn't get in on the settings during o in OBS while I'm streaming. And of course, if I start changing things, there's no telling what could happen. But it used to would cause... It would cause it to go nuts and start using up all my RAM on my machine, but it doesn't do that anymore. That was in Fedora 23. It doesn't do it in Fedora 28. But there are some settings you can't change while you're streaming. You know, you're going to mess everything up. So I am making a backup video. If this stream gets broke, I'll just delete it. <coughs> but, uh, okay, so I thought it would be good to show some of this. You know, you talk about it doesn't mean, mean anything to anybody. Just realize I can't show it. <laughs> When I go off into the mics, I can't show it. I can only show it when I'm on the desktop. Let's see. Um, I've been turning circles here, and now I realize, oh, yeah, you can't do that. Um, let's try going into settings, see what I can show from here. Okay. Audio. This is just a basic. Oh, yeah, maybe I can. Oh, yeah, you can change that in here. Uh, yeah. Well, see, you can right-click on any, you know, you can click the little gear icon or right-click on a source, but you can also, um, see, like right here, that's what I would do is let's is right-click on that and look at the settings. But, yeah, right here in audio. So here's the, my sources that I have. I have a uh, sample rate, 44.1 kilohertz, channel stereo, built-in uh, desktop, you know, to get my desktop audio. Uh then there's no, well the desktop two is disabled. I don't have a second one. Uh, then uh, mic uh, mic auxiliary mic aux. We always call it aux. Well, it says aux on the down here on the preview screen. Aux, aux is short for auxiliary. 
But anyway, that's where my my um, SM58 is plugged into the sound card on the computer, so that's where you get I get that. And then there's a two and a three, but I don't have any more sound cards. I do have a U. I have two little USB sound cards that I could use if I ever wanted to, but I don't don't want to. I'm sure, it would open. You know, making videos and doing that at the same time would be too much anyway for the system. Audio meter decay rate fast. Peak meter type uh, sample peak. Okay. So audio on cam two. <clears throat> now, you can turn on push to mute. Oh, that's what that is. Enable push to mute. No, that's not the uh, delay settings. Enable push to talk. Okay, so I don't have that on anything except for audio cam three, and that's what I'm always talking about. About muting my. Let's see if I can roll down there. Yeah. So uh, BLC. I don't want to accidentally mute, turn things on and off on my keyboard because when I'm typing, sometimes you know I'm trying to use just typing or keyboard shortcuts. I accidentally hit the wrong thing sometimes. So I don't want that to jack up my OBS Studio and it defaults with none of this turned on. But the only thing I've turned on is the uh, audio from Cam3, which is my wireless mic. You know, it's I mean it's just a lapel mic plugged into the camera. Streamed over the Wi-Fi using a VLC stream. That's how I do the video, and that's how you do the audio, too. Yeah, I actually have to be done in two separate streams to work in here. Uh, one of them is an audio stream. One's a video stream. And so, but that actually works out good. I use IP webcam to send the stream. It's the simplest way I've found to set up a VLC stream on an Android phone. <coughs> is this app called IP webcam. And so, and you can turn on... Or off audio, you can stream audio and video, or you can just stream audio or just stream video. Uh, so I'm streaming just audio on Cam 3. The other Cam 1 and Cam 2, I stream just video. And once in a while, I do turn on, I've tried it for other uh, reasons. Well, like if I wanted to take Cam 2 outside to do a video, I tried plugging in the mic and streaming audio and video, and the other's not even turned on to see if, well, maybe if there's less activity on the network it would work from out in the garage but this didn't help really <clears throat> as a matter of fact i discovered that trying to stream audio and video both from one camera well i believe what it does is overwhelms the the on the chips on the cameras the wi-fi chips are just not fast enough the fastest i ever get out of them is 70 megabits now, they generally run from 15 to 30 <coughs> when i do a test on them that's something i might <coughs> try doing <coughs> <clears throat> but I'm first of all, I'm gonna look in and see, make sure I'm on the Wi-Fi network. I should be on and all that. Something crazy hasn't happened, you know. Uh, well, I do have my my Linksys repeater outside that's repeating the signal from my D-Link in here. Now, if it was actually corrected, connected, I just got to thinking if one of them's connected directly to the Linksys, because I think that can be done at least in guest account. That would be really slow because it's 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 getting ready to die. It, it was get I te I did a speed test outside of my my backup servers out in the garage running on it, and I got two megabits up and ten or twelve down. So that's really bad because I have I just did a speed test a minute ago. Uh, right now, well I did have I was getting I put in my new modem yesterday and I'm getting well just now I got two hundred down and uh, eleven up, and I've been getting like one hundred thirty five down and eleven up. Or ten or eleven up <clears throat> with my old modem, but then it, my new modem's capable of, that they gave me. They sent me is capable of going faster. So, and my router is capable of like twelve hundred megabits uh, on the you know Wi-Fi speed. So it's not the router; it's a gigabit router on the wired. But of course, we're not talking wired right now. We're talking Wi-Fi. So um, let's see. Go back to where I was. I went up and back and up and back. Okay, um, yeah. Now, I was talking about push to mute, which I set a, a custom keyboard shortcut, which is, for me is control three. I just thought I wouldn't hit that by accident too, too easily. But I don't want too many. I can't remember that many. I would like to have one on my mic aux, but uh, I'm leery of turning it on because I'd rather it. I'd rather have to click on something to turn it on and off to so that I can't accidentally turn it off. With the Wi-Fi mic, that was uh, with, with the... Uh, Click to mute, as they call it. Control three turns on and off every time. See, uh, my I've got that uh, cam three to uh, desktop, cam three to endoscope. Every, every scene, I have to put it in there to get that to work that way. The the uh, the uh, cam three audio coming through a VLC stream, 
has to be put in the scene on every camera setting, every kind of camera. So I can turn them all on and off simultaneously with a keyboard shortcut. Now the uh, <coughs> the mic aux, we'll look and see if you can even do that. Can you? We'll get we'll get out there and see. But anyway, so that's why there's a bunch of entries for it, and I've got it all work, and they're toggle on, toggle off. So if you forget and click one in the in the uh, interface, then you'll get it off, and so you'll be turning all but one of them. You know, you'll be turning one on while all the others go off. You know, so and that's happened to me. So that's another reason why I don't I don't use it uh, the keyboard shortcuts a lot. Okay, now see so here's a video. You can do that with everything. And if you're really good with remembering your keyboard shortcuts and you don't mistype keys, you know, then you could use this a lot. And here, yeah, there it is again. Audio cam three to two, which that means uh, video two, you know, or uh, camera two stream. That's I can name them cam one, cam two, cam three. I, I hardly ever use any video on cam three, mostly just audio, but so okay, so uh <clears throat> audio cam three to one. And uh I saw the milliseconds in there. I guess you can actually put a delay in it if you want to. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Um it's actually delayed <laughs> reaction as it is. Well actually you know what? <clears throat> it does cut me off. I guess if I delayed it well, the problem of me cutting me off is the videos behind the audio. But yeah, okay. So if I put a little delay in there, a few milliseconds, maybe. Well, it takes about five to seven to even really notice anything. Uh, milliseconds. Because um, what happens is I'll cut myself off. I'm talking. Uh, I finish the sentence and I hit Control Three, and it still cuts me off because it hadn't quite made it yet. I mean, it cuts off the last word or two. So I suppose that's what that's in there for. I hadn't. No, I didn't remember that was in there. I've looked through this a lot. You know. Okay, media source. What media source? I don't know what media source is. Um, well, I guess it's just media source, like when you're adding and taking away things. One of them is called media source. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could push to mute uh, a video. That's like a video if you're playing a video or audio. Audio or video, you do that. That's what I do at the beginning and end of my video. So I could. that's what that's about. Okay, now here's a video. See, I could set that on a push to mute, but that's what I'm saying. I don't do this is one of the cameras it's it's I, you, you can't name more than one like even though it's in it, it's the same source but it's in a different scene you have to change the names that's another thing why there's so many in here okay so uh <clears throat> i had to just change them finally i started using the ip addresses and stuff and just all kinds of stuff uh, another media source see that's it's a set that says media source one that says just media source and another video I don't remember the IPs which one's which camera but I would say and then there's cam 3 to desktop and world this is still talking about the Wi-Fi cam 3 my audio my wireless mic uh, it works really well and one cool thing about using a phone is a wireless mic the other day well I, I've in this last couple of weeks I streamed for five hours once and for six hours once and the computer locked up at about six hours even <laughs> so i didn't go any further than that but uh the audio the, the battery didn't wear down on the phone just streaming audio and that's all no video now the video that's a different thing you got to keep them plugged in or they'll go down in 10 minutes uh, so that's one thing that's you can unplug them and move around but you, you you're going to start dropping frames probably immediately uh, getting a little behind the audio and so I try not to do that and if you go you can go 10 maybe 20 minutes and, but then about 20 minutes the battery's going to be down and the heat like if I tried to do it out in the garage in the summer when it was hot my cameras got my cameras they were plugged in but they got so hot they locked up and shut themselves down so the phones aren't great for working in the camera work in the heat but, but it was 102 to 105 that that summer so I was out there <laughs> I wasn't in the sun I was in the garage but and with fans, but <clears throat> cameras couldn't handle it. <laughs> I made it, and they didn't. I was kind of laughing about that. So anyway, um, let's see. Make sure I'm still streaming. Okay. <clears throat> um, audio cam three to desktop. I thought I just saw that. Cam one video. Okay. Um, mic aux. Now that, yeah, now that's the main, yeah, you can do it. There it is right there. So I could set it up a uh, 
like for instance, if I did it, I'd probably make it control four. Of course, then I can accidentally hit it. It'd probably be better to do it something else. Probably control M. I don't. Well, see if if and the other thing is, you know, your programs have preset shortcuts. Control this, control that. Now, if control M is already a shortcut for for the the whole operating system or for uh, any other program, let's say I opened up that program, then it would probably one they're gonna one's gonna take over and the other one's not gonna work, you know. So I don't wanna I've gotten in trouble messing things up doing my custom keyboard shortcuts that way. So anyway, I, lots of times I kind of wish I had it on. Did I figure out? I think I've turned it on and it doesn't work globally or something. It only works on the senior end. I don't remember. Uh, it should. It looks to me there's only one entry for it. I would think it would be global. I might have to try that. But now, right now, I'm trying to fix my. Uh, let's go into the video now. <coughs> let's see. Yeah, video. Okay. Yeah, video output is currently active. Please turn off any outputs to change video settings. So, okay. And then you're, I'll just kind of, since I I'll never go through this, there's your output settings. And these, once you set them, you can forget them, most of them. Once you get it all set up, I'm not going to click through them because I'm streaming right now. <laughs> but uh, your hot keys. This is where you set your hot your hot keys. Your, I believe. Yeah, Control Three. Yeah, this is where you set those. Uh, I don't know why they call it push to mute in there, and then they call it hot keys in here. But hot keys is a common thing for keyboard shortcuts, you know. But uh, yeah, so I could say. Uh, Mike Ox, what you do is you let's see how did I do it? There's I like yeah same thing if you say Control Three, Control Three, so it's it's a push to mute you know toggle on toggle off and that's the easiest way for me. So what I would do if I did that on the mic, then I would say if I did Control Four, that's too close to each other. I know I would accidentally hit the wrong thing and I'd get all crazy mad because I didn't know what the heck's going on. But I'd say, I don't know, like I said, control M, that's pretty easy to miss that one too. It's kind of figured out the easiest ones to hit without messing up is the numbers, except for sometimes I go all the way up and hit control F3 instead of just control 3. <laughs> but, uh, so anyway, control M is, uh, M for mute is pretty common for audio. That, that's some built into some programs. So if I did use control M, I might be able to do that. Um, then I would say control M for both of them and uh, you just mute and unmute and then push to mute push to talk now, yeah that you have to hold that down to talk or hold that down to mute now you could do that for a cough if you wanted to have a cough button now I've noticed and that's another thing what key would I use but like I would love to have a cough button that's what that would be is a cough button um so push to mute. So if I held down, you know, C for cough or something, it'd be easier to hit like just control or something. I don't know. But now you see that would happen by accident. You need a key that you don't hit. All, when I start coughing, I'm shaking all over the place and going nuts. Can't hold still. So the only thing I can hardly ever hit is something like space bar. Well, that's going to do. You need a can't use space bar. So anyway, that's why I haven't ever set all that up. Interesting stuff. Uh, and if anyway, you might be interested in that. If you were interested in that, I'm going in circles today. I've been going 90 to nothing trying to get stuff done all day, and I've been getting stuff done, but I've also had uh, struggling with my brain, <laughs> my old brain. Uh, audio cam 3 to desktop. Okay, now I can show the settings in here. If I right-click, you get this menu and all the things you can do. Now, the first the thing I want to get into right here is filters. Now, this is the really cool thing. There's audio gain. Now you can add filters or take them away right here. Um, let's see, there's effect filters. Let's see. Compressor, gain, noise gate, noise suppression, video delay, async. Okay, video delay, async. That says video delay, not. Okay, now let's see what's down here. There's two. Oh, okay. Audio, video filters, and then effect filters. Now, it might be fun to use some of these effects, but uh, 
you you know everything you use everything you add every all the post processing this is post to your live video you know uh, not post as in like when you're editing but uh, it's post it's after your live video you know we're sending an analog video to the to the computer it gets digitized and so anyway ha actually all that doesn't really matter what matters is what I'm trying to say is uh, it uh, it makes your machine have to do more work and so if you're I've got a quad core with 4 gig of RAM and I have it's doing pretty good but you know I want to be able to open programs and do desktop videos so you know 24 percent 25 percent is what it pretty well stands at right now we're using six about 695 megabyte of memory then another 116.9 of shared memory just 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 for a desktop video and then I it changes as you change what you do and then if you open programs see I don't have any other programs open but the system on there so yeah so I don't use the, any of these uh, you do color correction chroma key see that'd be really cool if you'd like I would like that sometimes you know like when the, when the camera I, cameras on me to you know all the stuff in the background and chroma key it out and just make it you know something that's better to look at besides the junk behind my chair you know in my room but that would be a lot of processing I've never tried I didn't even remember it had real I didn't look at it that much I didn't remember it had that you'd have to set it all up I've seen videos on how to do it I just remember that um, apply LUT I don't know what that one is WP uh, prop pad image mask blend render delay that's pretty cool There's, you can do a lot uh, this I'm, I'm thinking KDN live the videos I saw was in KDN live I haven't Sadly, I, I have not said I have not said and watched a bunch of videos on OBS Studio, which is my favorite video pro, audio video program ever. Use it all the time, and I have I did a, you know what I had to do to get going, and then I, I haven't gone back and watched more videos on it. My phone, someone has <clears throat> got a message, and it has a light on it that's blinking. It's driving me crazy. So I'm going to turn it off just to get rid of it. Well, it's actually a real message. <clears throat> that was actually my sister calling my mom. Um, I would, but I can't stand the blinking. I um, we getting the phone's been ringing all day, not stop driving me insane. And I finally, it was blinking at me, and I turned it on a while ago, and it was one of those uh, election campaign things, one of those advertisements. So I thought it was another one of those. Didn't expect it to be a real call. <clears throat> so anyway, I usually try to leave them alone if I can stand. If it's not blinking, and in, 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 sometimes I don't notice it. Sometimes I do. It's always sitting in the same place. Anyway, that way, I, you know, if it's, it's really hardly. I mean, basically never for me. So uh, I just leave it alone. Let somebody else get it. You know. So. Um, <clears throat> Okay, now I'm trying to get to. I don't see. There's a problem <clears throat> with just now. Re remember my problem of trying to show these things. What I need to show you is on cam one, cam two, <clears throat> and if I switch to those, then you don't see them. You, you don't see the you don't see the desktop anymore. You see the cameras. So uh, <coughs> uh, if I had the camera right up at the screen, I could. <coughs> Kind of try to show it. I guess I could grab camera one and put it at the uh, screen and try to show that. That's the only way I can even. It's either that or just talk about it. I guess I'll grab it and do that. <clears throat> get <a> drink. <clears throat> okay, so I'll, I'll move it first and then I'll, uh, you know, put on a. Uh, Click on to it.
Okay, I'm going to switch mics because I, I had to move my mic. I swung it back and set it up on the desk. And then uh, <clears throat> now, now the camera's in the way of putting it back where I can talk on it because I'm setting the camera on my, on my keyboard tray. Okay, now let's see if I'm anywhere near to line up enough to show this. <clears throat> okay, now you might be able to tell there's a delay. Um, and this is what I'm, that's what I'm trying to fix. I'm going to try to fix. Uh, it's a pretty big delay. This is camera one, and it's, uh, so I've been moving it. I guess I'm going to have to do something like say what I'm doing or something. You're getting that video feedback because it's pointing at the screen. <clears throat> then I guess that's not going to, oh, okay, but I can show you. Okay, so audio to cam three, if I write, well, if I click on the, That'll bring up the settings to add or take away a, uh, you know, a, a device, you know, we'll say. Okay, now if I right click on the we're audio, cam, audio cam 3 to 1, uh, you can't see that part. I mean, you could maybe, but. Uh, and then right click and then at the bottom there's properties, which is what we were just looking at. And then if I right click the next one from the bottom is filters. And I have gain, and I'll, oh, I didn't say that a minute ago. I put audio gain on the Cam 3. The audio is not loud enough, you know, and you can't change it in the IP webcam or in the camera, a phone. Uh, the IP webcam is the camera app I'm using, and you can't, I've never found a way to change the audio output. But what you can do, it, and it's automatic, you know, it, it actually tries, it tries to, uh, even with the mic plugged in, whether it's mic or no mic, it's automatic. <clears throat> automatic level control, ALC. Uh, that's been around since before, you know, at the early days of transistors. So um, in the 60, uh, 60s or 70s when I first ever saw it, but uh, I don't know when they made it actually. But anyway, uh, I figured out that if I do an audio gain of 16, whatever that represents, well, it says dB, uh, it's not 16 dB, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, audio gain of 16, 16 dB is quite a bit. It could be, I don't think so. But anyway, 16 uh, is enough. I, you know, you don't want to over gain a signal because then it'll end up. Well, I mean, it'll make the mic too hot, and then um, every little noise will be too loud. That's the number one thing. Uh, <clears throat> and and the other thing, if you you know, it can, can it end up distorting too. It's a, it's a lot. Uh, well, you can gain more in digital, and I think this is in the digital stream once it's already got into the computer and been converted to digital. That's why you do have to kind of understand how that works. I learned all my audio and video in analog days, and then I had to learn more when in the, starting in around ninety eight when I got started getting into computers. I started learning about digital, and of course it came along. I mean, it was very not a lot to, to d digital to use at that time, but it came along a long, long ways. Now it's the only way to go, you know. Well, everything usually starts out analog and then get, gets converted to digital. But uh, <clears throat> uh, analog, ADC is an analog digital converter. <clears throat> That's uh, how, you know, what does it in the, in the electronics and ADC chip. And there's also uh, DAC, DAC, digital to analog converter. Uh, so anyway, uh, and that's always used back and forth to make a computer work with a, uh, an analog or vi video or analog audio or video signal. Analog is real world, digital is, you know, ones and o's inside the computer. So <clears throat> that's what they always say, ones and o's. I still don't get that concept myself, you know, I don't. I don't. I'm not a programmer. I don't understand that. I I, I forget that stuff about as quick as I read it or watch a video on it. I tried to watch several of those videos about how that works the other day, and I just I, I went mind numb after five ten minutes and had to quit watching them. <laughs> so and I love all this tech stuff. But anyway, I set the uh, 16. We'll just say it's 16 dB because I'd say they have it labeled. Uh, I just don't think it's that much of a gain. Anyway, uh, 16 dB gain um, in um, 
every scene. I think you had to go do every scene uh, and set the, uh, and this is audio cam three, the Wi-Fi audio, the mic plugged into the camera, streaming Wi-Fi to my heart, my, my regular computer, to my desktop computer, uh, into OBS Studio, <clears throat> setting that, in, that gain in OBS Studio. And it works really well. Uh, and I just have to, and I have a, a, a Behringer mixer. I don't show it all the time. Here it is right here. Now my, my SM58, my Shure microphone's plugged into that little Behringer mixer. And I have to, a lot of times I'll bump those knobs, you know, when I, when I accident. And so I always have to keep track on them. And uh, I don't usually, I've never actually used a second mic. I got enough. It's got two mic channels and then one, two, two stereo channels. And I've got stuff in and then other things. But anyway, I've got, I can bring a tape in the way I have it wired right now and stuff. But it goes out of the mixer into this V amp. And this is a Behringer too. It's really a guitar effects, but it has vocal effects in it too. And it even tells you how to use it for vocals in their manual. And so I have, uh, well, I have like three or four set up for vocals there, and I could. But number A, the one that's lit up, that's the one I use all the time for talking. And uh, <clears throat> so that goes from there to the computer, <clears throat> and it has a compressor, a noise gate, and EQ, EQ in the board, EQ in the uh, V amp. So that's how I get a nice uh, voice tone, and that's why the SM58 doesn't. Uh, you know, do as bad with my coughing and everything because when I want, one thing I can turn my head away from it. You can't really turn my head away from where, you know a lapel mic. And then uh, <clears throat> the other thing is, uh, and I can see the delay. My preview behind this little, I can see that I moved the camera back and I'm still talking about I'm I'm talk, getting ready to talk about this screen again and it still was showing my V amp and everything, my mixer and everything. So it's serious delay. Well, it's getting worse because of this camera. I forgot, I, this camera's not plugged in. So there's a, just how bad it can really get. Um, the other thing, uh, let me, I'm gonna try to show some of the other effects. And here's the point. Uh, you got compressor, and I don't need compressor or any of that. Uh, the phone actually, well, this signal coming from the phones could probably stand some, some compression and stuff, but I haven't tried to use it because I don't need a noise gate. That's to cut out the background noise when you're not talking. That's fine. The phone does that automatically. Compressor, it doesn't, and I could use that. Uh, video delay async is what that's called. Now, maybe I never understood that because it did not used to be labeled that way, if I don't think or else they're just saying it in a way that don't make sense to me. Because if I turn on video delay async, let's go ahead and turn it on on this channel because, now, yeah, delay in milliseconds, okay. So I don't want to delay, oh, okay. I guess if I go positive, it, I, it turns me around every time I try to think about it. If I go positive, I don't, uh, my, my video is way behind my audio. So I don't want to delay the video. I want to delay the audio. So if you go positive, we can try it here. What do, I guess we're on cam one. So actually the other camera's on seven. <clears throat> yeah, we're on cam one. So maybe this would actually do something. Okay. Um, the thing is I need to plug the power into it to have it uh, mean anything. So I'm gonna close this because right now it's got, it's bound to be horrible. So I'm going to go back to the desktop because that'll help. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why, if you go to the desktop and then switch back to the camera, a lot of times it will straighten out. It will, it will catch up and get all back to at least as good as it's going to get. But my power cord, I have to move it into another place closer to where my camera's sitting. So I'm going to go back to the uh, <coughs> desktop so I can <laughs> pick up my camera, get up, and <laughs> get my power, unplug it. Oh. From where it is. These cables, you know, that come with stuff these days, they're never long enough anymore. <clears throat> I think I just accidentally, no, I didn't. Thought I accidentally turned off my power amp, <clears throat> plugging it in. <clears throat> okay, get this plugged in. I think it has to go around the bend there. Yep, it sure does. But I think it'll make it. <clears throat> So 
so um, I thought that I had my delay. Let's go back to this camera now. Not sure. There we go. It's still delayed. Uh, is that better than it was? Okay. Um, I guess doing that's kind of one way to tell. Okay, I need to adjust it anyway. I'm trying to at least get the top left corner of the screen so I can see. I guess where I really need to be is a little more towards the middle. Well, if I'm trying to even have you give you any idea about what I'm doing. Yeah, it's quite delayed still. <clears throat> now, I guess that's a way I can tell and show the uh, what's going on here. Okay, so um, now what I'm adjusting in, what my, I'm doing the delay in is my Audio Cam 3 just on camera one. You have to do it in each scene, and that's one reason why I don't mess with it much because it's such a pain. Uh, <clears throat> so my delay. Now, that's positive. Now, you can go negative. No, you can't. You used to could. They've changed it since when I, you know, when I used it, uh, learned how to use it. And, uh, well, I guess I learned it before for Door 23, but I used it a lot and for a year or two in for Door 23. Yeah, you can go negative. So I'm going to go to 10 and see if that makes any noticeable difference. I think it'll take effect, uh, you know. Well, we'll go off the camera and back onto it. Um, but yeah, I had no video delay in this one, but I have video delay in camera too. Uh, somehow I got, did, well, I guess I thought one needed and the other one didn't is what I guess. But, uh, I guess it would be better to, uh, get off the, let's do this. This is how I always test it. <coughs> my fucking, how, how this is going to work. Okay. See if we can get close enough to look really, really bad in the video. Okay, so uh, put my hand up. Okay, now my hand's there. One, two, three, four, five. See how long it took for the. <clears throat> That's way, way off. Now, instead of showing you, trying to show you the screen, I'll just keep doing that. <clears throat> but instead of it being right up in my face. Okay, well, uh, yeah, let's put the camera back in its normal place. <clears throat> go ahead and go back to the desktop while I do that. It won't be so horrible to look at. <clears throat> um, I hate dizzying videos myself, so I'll try to, I do it sometimes. Well, I always think I'll try to do it real carefully, but I generally forget to move slow and steady. I used to run real cameras. I used to have a real camera. Uh, and uh, I, I was real good at that. But those I, I had a Sony BVP3. I bought it in the late 90s. And when it was new in the late, 80, uh, late 80s, early 90s, it was a $10,000 studio camera, TV studio camera for broadcast. And uh, I got it in an auction for like 350 bucks. Kept it for years. Um, and that was a cool camera. That's what I call a real camera. <clears throat> I would call anything that makes decent video a real camera. But um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, it weighed about 25, 35 pounds. And, you know, you put it up on your shoulder and had a place for it to sit on your shoulder. And uh, it was a tube camera. This is before before digital chip cameras. <clears throat> of course, the chip cameras were out then, but they were very expensive. <clears throat> but, um, all right, so now we're using, now I can do my countdowns. Okay, well, my hand didn't come up yet. Okay, okay one, two, three, four, five. You see, we're, and that's, that's, that's shorter than a second, you know. I mean, seconds like, what did I say, one Mississippi, two Mississippi or something. But, uh, <clears throat> so, um, well, let's just go up. 
Let's see if it gets worse. I'm going to go to 20. I think this is delaying the video and it making it worse. Either that or um, I'm not getting a change because it can't. It should, you know, if I just switched off that scene and back on it, I think it, it will be able to save it. Uh, and <clears throat> because it seems to me that it's a real time thing. Okay, my hands wait up and waiting. One, two, three, four, five. The amount of time doesn't matter. It's just, uh, well, you, what I do is I watch my mouth. And, well, listen. Actually, I like to do Listen to yourself. And Are you saying finger one, finger two, finger three at the, in the same time? So now I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention. Okay, get your hand ready again. One, two, three, four, five. Is that actually getting better? It really throws my brain for a loop. I just have to experiment until I get it. If I see some improvement, then I keep going in the direction. Wrong, wrong setting. Filters. Let's do five now. If you do too much, it, if you go way a whole lot too far, then it'll be hard to figure out where you're at. So I'm on 25 now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's still. I actually don't seem to me that it's changed from where it was when I started. Oh, I didn't switch off. Let's see. But I mean, I can't really tell a lot of difference. And I've done this. I've spent hours doing this uh, off, you know, off video. Okay, <clears throat> get my hand ready. I think switching to desktop and back help. Well, one thing it'll kind of reset the camera. One, two, three, four, five. Do it one more time. <clears throat> now my brain is not paying attention here. One. Oh. Okay. Let's put the hand back. Hand hand back to the just the fist. Okay. Now. One, two, three, four, five. And of course, it's not going to be now. I'm going by what I see in my preview. Uh, now I look over there on my live stream preview, and I still have a fist. Okay. Now it's starting seeing my fingers <clears throat> but that's a, th there is a delay you know? I think it's built in now you can you can turn on even more delay if you want and I don't have I think like a 30 second delay I did that for a while and then I realized it drove me nuts trying to watch see my preview and see what, what was going on over there but there I mean you're imagine the delay right here in your one in your room I mean these things are only this one's only a foot from the D-Link router this phone that, that I'm looking that's looking at me right now well Okay, imagine it going for the delay you get here and then going out through the internet to the YouTube servers and back to whoever would be watching or back to myself again. So, you know, yeah, you're going to get delay. <coughs> That's called um, <laughs> delay. <coughs> they call it latency. <coughs> but... Um, try it one more time if I saw an improvement or if it got a lot worse then I would know I can't go down I can only go up so let's go to 30 that is oh, 30 milliseconds well no that's not a whole lot I could do a hundred well I could I've, I'm used to working with audio delays and sound you know and uh, <clears throat> I could do a hundred uh, before you know like 100 is discernible any 50 maybe maybe but with when it's syncing audio and video you usually don't need I usually what I was able to do was seven but I believe I was doing back when the program was different I was doing negative seven so if this is really what to me that says video delay async which is what they call that but if you're, there's two ways to do it. Like I said, you can either delay the, uh, the well, you can delay the audio or delay the video. Uh, okay, now there's something to think about. I'm, this stream that I'm working on, okay, yeah, so it says video delay, right? But this is only an audio stream. Well, yeah, it is. It's, this is only an audio stream. So in this case, I guess it is an audio delay. Well, that's what I need is an audio delay because the audio, you know, the audio's ahead, way ahead of the, obviously, you know, audio is a lot less bandwidth and it can move faster across the Wi-Fi than video can. So, yeah, okay, okay. Now let's 
do that countdown again. Now I went up to, I've already forgot what I went up to. Let's see. I think we're, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Filters, 30 milliseconds. I might have to go up to 100 or something to see if I'm, <clears throat> what I might have been getting before, they didn't have it measured. If I remember right, they didn't have it measured in milliseconds. They just had numbers. And I thought, so what does that mean? You know, arbitrary. I used to say, I'd made a couple of videos saying, what do these arbitrary numbers mean? It could have been meaning seven. Like I, seven was what I was doing. Could have been 700 milliseconds, which would make more sense to me as to the results I was getting. So let's go back to the desktop just to kind of reset the camera. <clears throat> okay, now. One, two, three, four, five. That is getting closer, I believe. Do it again. Of course, I can tell by just when I raise my fist. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> well, let's do it again. <clears throat> I think I'm actually getting somewhere. So I'll go to 35. I don't want to go too far, even though it's tedious doing it this way. Okay. It, it, when you switch, you got to give it a little bit. Uh, see, I put my hand up, and it took a while to show it. One, two, three, four, five. It's, now it's not doing exactly the same. This is why I got tired of messing with all this because. Uh, <clears throat> The conditions are constantly changing on your network. I realized that after <coughs> trying to do this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Now see my hand. I'm done and my hand hasn't even shown up yet. I didn't wait for it this time. <coughs> so I don't know if I made it worse by going that far or... Let's go back to 30. I could have. Let's go back to 30. Let's go back to 28 and see if maybe I need um, I need to uh, pass the threshold. I need to go backwards, and I still think it's probably going to help to go to the desktop. But this time I need to wait a minute. So I'll put my arm up there, and when I see it, then I'll wait and count. That's what I've been trying to do. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. It just doesn't. Uh... Okay. Try one more time. I want to try something really far. I'm going to I'm going to do something like 100 milliseconds. Do 100 milliseconds and let's see if we can tell anything. You should get a really good or you know, you should get some improvement or get really bad. Okay. <clears throat> Arm up. <laughs> I just had to say that. When my children were little little babies and toddlers, I think it was me, yeah, my oldest daughter. <laughs> uh, I would I would take her hand, I'd take her hand, you know, and I would just gently pull it up. She's just a little toddler, and I would hold it up in the air, and then I would go G -g 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 -g, tickle her under her arm, and she would giggle and giggle and giggle, and so it, she loved it, and so she got to just out her own idea. She'd come up and go, "Arm up, daddy, arm up, arm up, daddy, arm up," <laughs> when she wanted me to tickle her. <laughs> So I've done that my whole life. I'll say, arm up, arm up. And I'll do it without even realizing it. So arm up. Sounds better than fist up, doesn't it? All right, so uh, arm up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, arm up. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. It is so hard to tell. Okay, I'm going to just get really aggressive here. I'm going to do 150 milliseconds now. And see. <clears throat> Anybody having fun yet? Okay, arm up. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Maybe it's better. Thought that a while ago, didn't I? Let's go to 200. 200 milliseconds. All right. 
gonna switch. I'm switching off, well, switching off to basically kind of reset the frame rate on the camera. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we'll wait. Yeah, it's still taking a while for my hand to go down. I guess I really don't have to, well, the counting helps me anyway. But one, two, three, four, five. Helps me to focus on is what you know is my actions and my voice matching you know. Okay, <clears throat> I would say I'll I'll do it a little further and see. I'm gonna say two fifty. Two fifty milliseconds. I guess I could try it without, well, I'm not even sure if the, if the changes would take effect if I don't go off the camera and back on. I know that if I lose my stream and if I click off of that camera and back onto it, it'll come back. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing that. Okay, arm up. Yeah, it's still behind. One, two, three, four, five. I think we get too many drop frames too. So uh, I'm gonna try one more. I'm just gonna go ahead and do 300. You would think it would suddenly go the other way, you know, if you're getting too far. Then again, I could be completely all wet and funny and it's not even taking effect until I, you don't have to turn off the program and turn it back. I've done this before. The only difference now is I'm doing it during a live stream. I usually just do it while I'm making a... Well, I usually just do it... Well, I've done it and made videos. Then you watch the video back and you see it's not going to be the same in the preview as it is in the video. It's usually going to be... Well, there's going to be less delay in the actual video than there is in the preview. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Arm up. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. I was not paying attention. I'm losing my concentration. Okay, arm up. One, two, three, four, five. And it's hard for me to tell if it's getting closer or not. Let's do, I started to do 400. Let's do 350. Because what I'm thinking is I, I, I haven't gone, I've remembered now that I haven't gone and checked my wireless settings and all that. I could be working so hard on this one, I, I'm actually not on the network I think I'm on or something like that. Arm up. <clears throat> and I'm saying that late. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now it doesn't seem... One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna leave it right, well, no, we'll do one more. One more 50. Go ahead and go to 400. <clears throat> I, 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 when I keep doing this and doing this, I lose my concentration and I'll get lost in it all. And uh, I'll go way far past, you know, where I need to be. Okay, arm up. One, two, three, four, five. I've got it within pretty close you know like hard there's still a discernible delay but not bad and okay well oops one <laughs> okay start over uh can't talk i can't count and talk at the same time arm up one two three four five all right i'm going to leave it right there because i'm not sure but by now i should either be close or just super way off way too far um, so I'm gonna, I'm either gonna do like dual screen like that. Let's see, let's get on camera two for a minute and I'm gonna look at, I can't show you, but I'm gonna audio cam three to two, audio cam two. I've got a bunch of extra stuff in there. Now this is the only one that had any on it. It has, um, seven milliseconds. And after what all I've been doing, I would think that doesn't, wouldn't be doing much of anything. 
it actually does seem like it's been working better lately than camera one, and it used to be the opposite. I did, somehow, I, well, I guess I thought it needed it, and the other one didn't. Uh, it's why it's that way. But I'm going to go, yeah, let's just go cameras one and two. Oh, not one and two. Oh, I don't have a two. Or, oh, I want endoscope. So I want endoscope and two for right now. That way, uh, what I'm talking about, you'll you'll know what I'm doing, <coughs> and uh, so I'm going to. Where's my audio? Why is it way down at the bottom of that scene? Everything's completely flopped. The mic ox is usually at the bottom. It's up at the top. Well, it's desktop audio mic ox, just like it should be. But then this this particular one here is all the way to the bottom. Oh, I guess it's maybe the relation to how it's set in the scene. Well, anyway, <clears throat> now I'm going to get this camera and uh, put it over here under the endoscope. <clears throat> and I'm going to go into the settings. If I can, yeah, maybe I can do it like that. There we go. Now it's... Uh, Oh, good, I've got a light and everything. I, turning that camera to where you're going to be right up, up, up the right direction is going to be, I just don't have the ergonomics to do it, I don't think. No, the only way I can <coughs> have this endoscope sitting on this table is pretty much the way I got it. <coughs> and that reflection, maybe when the screen lights up, it will uh, go away some. That's the light bulb up in the ceiling. Of course, if I turn that off, then <clears throat> yeah, all you're seeing is my back. <clears throat> so there's really no sense in me having that. Let's just do just endoscope. Then it'll be bigger, and you might actually be able to tell what's going on. I could turn. That's the main light to the room. I could turn it off, but I think that would be a probably not a good thing. I have to have it where I can read it, and the darn thing doesn't want to light up. There we go. Okay, so. That's a preview of the camera, and it's dark because it's laying on the table. So I'm going to get out of the camera. Okay, yeah. And see, this is how I have them mounted in the tripod. I use rubber bands, so those are going to have to stay on there. That's too much trouble to get them in and out. It would take forever. Okay, so I want to go into Wi-Fi settings. Settings. I'll try to lay it back down once I get yeah, Wi-Fi is turned on. Let's click on it, though. Of course, it's turned on. It wouldn't be working. Oops. I did two things by accident, just trying to move that rubber band. Okay. Yeah, connected. So, uh, <clears throat> if I can get in a spot to where it well, just gets to where you can't see it at all, that's stupid. Now it went to sleep. Oh, that might be better right there. Yeah, Don D Link T4 4 gigahertz connected. And uh, I guess my screen is set to go to sleep in five, 15 seconds. It does it to me all the time. I hate that. Um, I thought this would be easier to show this than that. Display. Yep, 15 seconds. It just does that, and I have to make sure I turn off all. Set it on two minutes. Turn off all that kind of stuff, you know, the automatic junk. I have the weather effect on. Let's turn that off. I I think that makes a difference in how much usage, it, you know, power usage it does. I generally have them plugged in anyway, but okay, let's get out of that. <clears throat> it's hard to match the buttons because the rubber bands are in the way. Okay, 2.4 gigahertz, and uh, well, there's where you can almost see what's going on. Now I can barely see it. Reflection. Uh, 
Yeah, the next strongest one is direct 49H. Well, it jumped, but uh, okay, a D-Link guess. That should be D-Link guess. That's my router. Yeah, these phones don't even see. I have 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. They, they don't see the 5 gigahertz, period. So I have no other. It's where it should be. And uh, anyway, that HP Envy, that's somebody's printer, my neighbor, neighbor's printer. It's the third strongest thing uh, in my bedroom. <laughs> a printer. Everything is walking on each other. So I did it again. I don't want to type anything or do anything. Piece of crap. See, I told you I don't like Android touch screens. Um, yeah, you can't just lay it down. I can try to turn it to where it's right set up. There we go. I can't read it like that, though. It's, I'm reading from the <laughs> crazy position. <clears throat> can almost read it on the preview of my screen. There. Depends on where I'm trying to read, if I can read it or not. Yeah, but yeah, look, this is all. So did it again. I'm trying to log into it, I think. I can't really operate the way I was trying to. Okay, so um, yeah, there's 15 at least things there. Now there's something. Oh, I guess it's yeah, Don's TP link. Well, that's not turned on. The Wi-Fi is not turned on. Uh, so I guess it's, yeah, no signal. It's remembering that it saw it before. But the ones that have a signal, obviously, are on and running, you know. And, of course, some of them are really weak, and you couldn't connect them if you wanted to. But there's a lot of, that. this is all, everybody's problem, is everybody's got wi wireless stuff. And now the, the big companies, you know, AT&T and Charter Spectrum and all them, before we know it, they're working. I always read the news about this sort of thing, that, uh, you know, this sort of stuff, and uh, they're getting ready to deploy their licensed, well, they're fixing to, uh, the government's auctioning off some more licenses in the broadband spectrum, I guess you could say, the wireless spectrum, and uh, <clears throat> stuff that used to be for public use, and... Uh, so when they buy it up, and those things are going to, I guarantee you, they're going to walk on our Wi-Fi, and they, they, it'll be to where the only way we can use the wireless devices is to subscribe to them. I'm afraid. I don't know this for a fact. I'm afraid of it. Uh, because, yeah, 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 it's designed not to interfere. Well, that's what they said about our wireless microphone. That's All our wireless microphone spectrums that we used uh, up until the about 2005 or so, all those audio people, uh, that's no longer there. Uh, they sell, that, that's what they took away and, and they're selling off now. Uh, and you have to have a license now. You used to could use them, uh, <clears throat> you know, without a license. And if you've ever run sound anywhere and used a wireless mic, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. But uh, anyway, uh, they're, they're going to be using those for wireless stuff. Uh, that's just all this, you know, the wonderful 5G that's supposed to be so great that they've been talking about for at least 10 years now, and it'll probably be another 10 years before they get it rolled out. <coughs> but, uh, okay, so yeah, this phone, the, this is the one that's been the worst lately. It is uh, on the on my D-Link router, just like it should be. Now I'm going to go into my apps and use my uh, Wi-Fi app finding app. Let's see. Well, there it is. Wi-Fi analyzer. Now I need to turn it like this to get it to see if I can <clears throat> put it in a way. Yeah, I can in a way that it can be seen at all. We'll try. There we go. It's not uh, if I pull this, no, if I go any closer, it won't really, I'll go a little bit closer, I guess. Okay, now you can't read them, and I can't read them, but that's how many things are right here, just in a regular average neighborhood. Uh, and see the tall ones on the far left, 
That's my D-Link and its guest account, the yellow and the red. But now there's, oh, this at and C. Somebody else got wise. They must have watched my video. <laughs> Better quit telling. Uh, there was nothing but my stuff down there in that uh, lower bandwidth, lower channels. And now there's two more competing with mine. I don't know what they are. See, if if you will move your stuff away from the busy channels, you'll you'll have you won't have the interference near. You won't have hardly any interference. But man, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten arts devices that I can see. I'm counting the little arches, and of course they're going up and down in their strength. And. Uh, Mostly my spectrum devices of some sort. I guess it's their, probably, I don't know, maybe they're getting router. This is my spectrum Wi-Fi 82, 8 something G. Uh, they may be getting, <clears throat> I just get the modem. I don't get the modem routers from them. They, they don't, they don't uh, sell them to you. You rent them. <laughs> Not renting anything. So, uh, you know, HP Envy, that printer, yeah, one, two, three. Just from the other day, things are right down here in the channel range of my same range I'm in. But my, uh, yeah, my D-Link guest and my Don's D-Link 2.4 gigahertz, those are the tall ones. They should be. I'm like, the phone is uh, five feet away from them, you know. But heck, the other ones are halfway up the graph there. Even tells you how much signal, actual signal strength in dB, you know. Uh, but these are all competing for the same uh, bandwidth, you know, and the same channels. And that's down in the channels one to three. You, the, uh, most devices default to run around kind of right in the middle. <clears throat> and uh, now there's one, yeah, that one is up from up to nine to 13. And I saw, I was watching a video the other day and I think this would, uh, they were talking about the 5G rollout, but uh, they were saying in the higher channels, higher frequencies, which I'm guessing the higher frequencies are the bigger numbers on this graph. The higher frequencies, uh, I, I, you know, I, I remember and forget things all the time. But anyway, the higher frequencies uh, can go faster, but the lower frequencies uh, can go further. You know, you'll have, you can move further away from your, your router or whatever kind of device if you're on a phone or whatever you know you're going they're talking phone stuff you know so you so your tower you know <clears throat> so um say if you were using a 5g or 2g like that one's a 2g uh, that i can see there and it's up in the highest frequency so that would be the fastest but you're gonna have to be close to your router uh, or to your phone <clears throat> you know, tower you know this 2g that'd be for phone yeah, because they're not, 2G's not Wi-Fi, that's the phone network, you know. But, uh, <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> um, that that's what, I'm sure this is one of my, what might be my biggest problem with me doing my Wi-Fi video streaming over my Wi-Fi. <coughs> is this right here. It's more busy than it was last year. <clears throat> and uh, it's only going to, you know, it's just getting busier and busier. And uh, so that's also why our older routers, the ones that should work just fine, can't compete anymore. Because they do refine the technology. You know, they get better chips, better uh, everything, and better electronics. They try and try and try. Uh, to Well, they're trying to uh, keep them within a narrower bandwidth so they don't walk on each other and uh, get more speed. <clears throat> But I think if you, I'm pretty sure getting more speed is just going to require more of the channel, more of the bandwidth, you know. And you, there's just only so much you can do. So the faster we try to go, of course, we're, we're my router is supposed to run it, actually run, I think the max is 1700, it's supposed to just run, should be able to just handle 1200 like all day, you know, uh, megabits. Of course, this phone. Like I said, I know it'll do about 72 megabits. Uh, that's that chip in there. I've, I've got speed tests on that. Oh, yeah, I was thinking I'd do a speed test. <clears throat> um, so let's see if we can do, see what I can find to do a speed test with here. Um, 
Not sure what I've got anymore. I used to use the Avast speed test. I think I took it off because it was popping up too much crap and using up and running in the background when I didn't want it to. And of all the Avast apps, they, they, you turn them off and tell them to quit running in the background, they'd come right back. Let's see, there's a Avast icon. Let's see. Because that's the only one I can think of for doing a speed test with. Avast for mobile. Less Wi-Fi Finder. No, I still got the Wi-Fi Finder on there. It, it's one thing that's really cool about that Wi-Fi Finder that I like, and that's what's going to do the speed test, I think. It can store where 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 Wi-Fi devices are, and then if you're out somewhere and you don't have a connection, see, I don't have service on here, so I don't have connection unless it is Wi-Fi. But it can tell me, well, you're there's a Wi-Fi device, and not it doesn't just store the ones I've I've seen on my phone, but it, cre it keeps the database online and then it downloads it to your phone. So wherever you go, it's a good chance you may find, uh, okay, connected to Dawn 2.4 gigahertz in range. Let's see. Do you want to add this Wi-Fi to the, to the, the, the li list? No, it's private. I don't want to share that with people. It's private. I'm not giving people my password, so you have marked it as private. Okay, got it. But, you know, there are plenty of public uh, speed tests. Yeah, that's what I want. Plenty of public ones. Not Well, not as many. Most of all of them are private wherever you go now, but there are public ones. <clears throat> and that at least, you know, give me your email address and you can log on or something. Um or a lot of times, usually, like say, if you go to your doctor's office or whatever, where I go, uh, you may be able to ask. I haven't bothered with it, but uh, ask, and they might let you log on. You know, of course, most people don't do that as much as they used to because I think because uh, you know they have a data plan. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, download is that really only oh 41? I thought is that really only. Uh, One, 1 1.3 download. See if I can get that. Well, I tried to do it without. Oh, it changed on its own. I thought I had messed up. See if I can. Yeah, 41.3 download and 7.9 up. Now that should be plenty, way plenty, because you're you're really only streaming. Uh, the most you would probably do. I'm doing 720p, and the most you're probably streaming is like a gigabit going up. And this is up. See, I'm concerned with the up right now, not the down. And I have 7.9 up. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so that's pretty good. You know, that's all right. So that was something I got to thinking about. Uh, is So maybe that's my problem. So no. Phone's still working okay. The Wi-Fi chip in the phone's still working okay. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> but they used to do much better, and this particular phone used to do much better. I see. Well, it, it's doing better here on my local than it is on my... Let's see. I'll go to the desktop because this phone is... Got to be put back in its place again. Did I have the, I, th I don't think I have the phone app up and running right now. I mean the streaming app. And I've gone long enough now, it's probably a, well, we'll have some, uh, well now I've turned the app off and turned it back on, but, <coughs> well the phones haven't been rebooted. I turned them on and then didn't use them and I left them running, which I don't think will really hurt but if you leave the streaming app running, yes, that will fill up the cache on the phone, the memory, everything. Because if it's streaming, even though you're not picking it up, it's still streaming, you know. So, uh, trying to plug in the power there. Okay. It's pretty good. Now, <clears throat> I was going to look at the filter. So what I, yeah, this one, I showed that a while ago, but 
so what I had done is I added the uh, video delay and then I went said okay then I went all the way up to like 350 milliseconds and I don't want that on the desktop stream it's the one thing that does good so I'm going to take that out of there <coughs> okay make sure I don't mess things up but I do want the gain on every one of those now let's go back to the camera <coughs> and uh I think I'll do another countdown, but I think this is, I've exhausted myself, <laughs> much less any ideas I have on how to make this any better. I see lots of delay on my preview. So I, my filter may be bad and not good. So I'm going to go all the way back down. I'm really just grasping the straws now. I'll go all the way back down seven seconds, just like camera two. Because uh, ca camera two did seem to be working okay. And this one, d it seems to be the one that's not working okay. I haven't changed camera two. I thought I'd leave it alone. I'd just work on this one and see what it did. Okay, hand up, arm up, I mean. Yeah, it hasn't came up yet. So uh, it still hasn't come up. There. Wow. No point in doing a countdown like that. Now I put it back down to seven seconds and it did that. <coughs> what I don't know is... Uh, what was I at? 350? I'm going to go back to it. I'm going to do 400 milliseconds. And try one more time. Going down to seven mate seems to make a huge difference. I mean, because it wasn't that bad a while ago. And I had the IP webcam app off while I was doing all that showing. That was camera one I was showing you on the endoscope. And uh, <clears throat> so anyway, I had that IP webcam app turned off. And I could reboot the phone. Sometimes it gets it. OBS Studio, though, if you do that, uh, turn an app on and off is not a big deal, always. But well, rebooting the phone shouldn't make any difference. Sometimes when you disconnect the phone, turn the app off, or reboot the phone, and don't, and then you may have to turn off OBS Studio and turn it back on to ever get it to see the phone again. But not always. Okay, so I'm on 400 milliseconds. Can I do my arm up now. It's just super delayed, no matter what I set it on now. Yeah, it's just probably had its fun for today. What, how long have I been streaming? Hour and 18 minutes. That's actually not too, two hours. I usually can go two hours before I see any negative effects when it's working good. But <clears throat> it's like super delayed now. So um, I think I'll go to cam two. And I'm going to reboot the... I'll just <clears throat> let you see as I reboot this one. <clears throat> Oops, ran into my preview camera. Okay, so let's go this way. And uh, get out of the camera. I'm just going to reboot the phone and see what that does. Now, all those settings are in OBS Studio. They're not in the phone. And they're not in IP webcam. I don't think it has anything like that. Supposed to be restarting. There we go. <clears throat> okay, we'll let it restart. And uh, <clears throat> and then we'll put it back up there and do a countdown. I do know that the longer you stay on one camera, the worse the delay gets. So that's another reason why I keep going off it and back on it. <coughs> I was really hoping to get back to my domain uh, testing. Well, testing my domain. I think I have it, I have it set up and it's, I think it's working on my Net Pro Max. But I wanted to test it and see if I could see it on the internet, see that server on the internet. But I ain't gonna do that tonight. I'm tired now. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> ah, I 
I should get off the camera anyway to do that, just in case you can see that, huh? Because you might come to my house and want to use my phone, and I don't want you to. <clears throat> you might subscribe to something or do something. <clears throat> okay, so it's rebooted. You see, I've kept it plugged in most of the time, so the battery's still at 96%. And I'll plug it back in. I do think that when you unplug them, that the uh, I've read some stuff that leads me to believe that they may automatically go into a power saver mode when they're unplugged and slow down the Wi-Fi quite a bit when they're unplugged. So that's another reason why I keep them plugged in to the power to the charger to the power supply. I usually call them power supplies because that's what they've always been there. They weren't these little uh, Power supplies weren't used for charging anything. You couldn't charge batteries with them. You just ran your device off of them My, when I was growing up. <clears throat> but now, of course, everybody calls them a charger because that's what they seem, that's what they generally are used for. But I'm old, so I think, think of them differently. Wall warts, that's what everybody calls them. There we go. Some people call them bricks, but the big ones, like for laptops, is what I call a brick. <clears throat> These little ones are people generally generally call wall warts. But since it's not plugged into the wall, it's not a wall wart. It's a light fixture wart. I actually have it plugged into a, a little portable light, clip-on light right now with a <laughs> with an adapter screwed into it with two plugs on it. Old timey style. <clears throat> okay, so now it's right up to date, isn't it? It actually seems better. <laughs> oh, it's not that good though. I just realized I saw me putting my glasses on after I'm well past doing that. All right, <clears throat> all right. One, two, three, four, five. I cannot tell that it's changed anything. Maybe I'm all wrong about being able to change it while you're up and running. I don't, I swear you don't have to uh, close, you don't have to close the, pro I've done it enough times, you do not have to close the program to see your changes when you do that. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Back down. Okay. Arm up. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, it's still not way, so far off that it's just, you know, no good. Let's try something. I was going to say I'll do a thousand, but let's don't go that far. Let's go 800. We'll double it. Okay. Switch off of it again. But you see, it just doesn't make any sense because camera two is on seven and it's not that bad. Well, let's count it. I'll put my hand out there. Okay, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's way better, worse than I thought. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I've done my whole test. My hand, I brought my hand back. <clears throat> it is way off. Okay. So it's probably not all that different from camera one then. Okay, let's see now. We're back on camera one. Arm up. One, two, three, four. Uh, now that's getting closer. Okay, back down. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, I might be making some headway finally. I just wasn't being aggressive enough. And ten. Okay, well, I'm close enough. Let's go ahead and do a thousand. Because that's what. I just had a feeling to try a thousand a while ago anyway. 
If I could get this good or back the way it used to not be so bad, I'd be so much happier about all this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Well, that didn't help. Okay, <clears throat> I'm, I was just starting with my count instead of saying, okay, arm up. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, put it back down. Let's make sure I haven't gone too far. That's the thing I'm concerned about is going too far. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to start my count. That's just as well. It's actually less confusing to me, I think. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's not right. I can tell that. So, and I think I just still don't have quite enough. 1,200. I could do them both back and forth, I guess, but I don't know. Well, yeah, I can do that. Well, let's do 1,200 on this one. One, two, three, four, five. Switching, though, it, it does take a minute for it to catch up. So uh, that's the other thing. And switching between cameras doesn't always help anything. That didn't work well at all. Switching to the desktop. I'm getting tired of the same sequence over and over. Desktop, camera, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm just going to go on up, because I don't think I've passed it. I don't think I've gone into the realm of, uh, you know, the video or the audio being behind the video, have I? 1,500. Let's make sure I haven't done that. I had to really focus in on my countdown to tell that. <clears throat> I guess that's one good reason. Wait till I see my fist up there. Okay, now I see it. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the video is still way behind. My arm back down a while ago. Yeah, it, it's it's changing. Okay, back up. One, two, three, four, five. See, for a moment there, uh, it seemed like I was doing some good. Okay, well, we'll try it without switching. Okay, I'll just go straight to 2,000 then. I'll try not, uh, I won't switch off of it this time. See if it makes any difference. Okay, arm up. Nope. Nope. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we're back on there now. Okay, I got my fist up there for a little while. It's not showing. Okay, I'll put it back down. See if it comes up more. At it's still video behind the audio. Yeah. Arm up. It got worse again. One, two, three, four, five. Got way worse again. Okay. I may have a problem that I just can't fix. I'm not 2,000 milliseconds. I'm going to go to camp two and try it now. Now this time I'm going to do, yeah, camp three. Let's see if there's any delay on, yeah, there's nothing on the, okay, now cam three to two, should be a, yeah, video async delay, seven milliseconds. I'm going to go to 1500. Okay, now this is the other camera, so, okay, with my arm up over there. Okay, now that came up a lot sooner. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, see that wasn't so bad. Still delayed, but it wasn't so bad. Now let's go to 2000. Let's see what happens there. Arms up. One, two, three, four, five. We're still buying by quite a bit. Let's go off of it just to make sure that maybe the setting change. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. I was sitting there going, what? It's not working now? <coughs> okay, now. Yeah, it's taking a bit to show my hand. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. I'll try checking it one more time, but let's see what I got it set on. I've already forgot. <clears throat> 2000. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I think I need to watch back the video, but it doesn't make sense that I should be at 1000 to 1500 and and it still shows to be delayed. I'll try it one more time. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> I'm losing my ability to pay attention to what I'm doing again. This is why, why I go. If you wonder why my videos stay out of sync a lot, that's because it's. This is what it. Uh, I've, this is what it takes to get them in sync, and then the next couple of weeks maybe or next day it may just be all off again so yeah I, I, Wi-Fi video and audio streaming is not ideal it's not an ideal way to do it definitely but it's pretty cool to have wireless cameras uh, and a lot of times you're not showing something like that you're not showing your own face I don't show my own face all the time so you don't you know you don't realize that there is a delay unless it gets like couple of three to five if it gets a bunch you know well, I've had it get so bad it's like three four seconds but if it's within a second you don't hard, notice it too badly you know because uh, you don't know when I th thought to say that you know when you're watching back the video I mean when I watch my own video I don't know so let's see 2500 I'll try that I don't know where I am on the other one let's go see where I am on the other one I'm at 2,000. Okay. And let's see. Let's just do a test. That's on camera two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five. That is not so bad. See, when you switch back and forth on the cameras, it changes how it reacts. So that's 2,500. One, two, oh, I'm not in the screen. One, two, three, four, five. Now I would, well, that. I'm going to switch it to. 3,000 now. I think I did that a while ago. Don't remember now. I'm going to switch between cameras and see. Now let's go back to that one. I get confused. If I keep switching camera to camera, okay, 3,000. Okay, arm up. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. that's at 3,000 milliseconds and it says in the window you know uh, video delay async and that was like okay yeah, but then I finally realized okay but yeah I'm not dealing with a video stream I'm dealing with an audio stream so it's really audio delay uh, and it does work I mean I can see that there's changes it is happening it's just getting it to be good okay that's on 2,000 uh, I'm going to leave it just like that and do one count and then change it. Okay, arm up. <clears throat> yeah, see, now it's way off again. 
I mean, it's way, way off of it. What in the world? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So, I just don't believe I can fix it. I hate to say it. I, I've no, I, well, this is the worst it's ever been. Maybe it's because there's all these, there's, there is a four maybe or more new signals in Wi-Fi signals here in my, in my house from neighbors. I've got the D-Link router and then the repeater out in the garage. That's all I got. And my, I just now checked, you know, that phone is not connecting, trying to connect to that one out in the garage or anything. It's really slow, so. It does work just enough to keep my server online half, most, half the time <laughs> right now. <clears throat> but um, the reason I have, I don't have, everything's too loud. I can't stand it. Uh, I used to run my IBM in here, and then it got to making noise, and I messed, you know, I work, I've got a bunch of videos where I was working on fans and changes fans. I ended up getting into three machines <laughs> at one time. And I never could get it that uh, IBM to quit making a noise enough for me to stand it. So, and it makes them, I realize once I put it in the garage, I realize how much heat it really makes. It makes a one to two degrees difference hotter in here. So, um, let's see. I'll switch on the desktop again like I've been doing. I do know that helps. Back to cam stream one because I have been like going just between cameras. Okay, now arm up. It will not come up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to my desktop. Yeah, I see nothing. Now, the CPU is at 47%, and that's back down to 22. Sometimes I think that happens just when I do my switch, when I go to desktop <laughs> from camera. But then it goes right back down. Or it could be that it's doing that during camera mode. It, well, that's probably what it is. It's using more during camera mode. And that could be a big factor. Uh, but, you know, it's not working at an extra hard. Uh, it's not like it's going to 80, 90 percent or anything. So I just, I really don't know how much. Okay, where am I at? Oh, I'm on the wrong. That's the desktop. So filters, that's still on 2,000. Now what's the other one on? I've gotten it up to 3,000. I'm going to change it to 3,500. Change it. I'm going to start putting them both on the same thing. 3,500. And then this one, I'm going to do it too. And then I'll check. Give them a chance to... to uh, just to the switches, you know, switching the, I'll go to the desktop because I know that always helps and then I'll go camera one, okay, arm up, <clears throat> big delay, but I did just switch, so one, two, three, four, five, okay, now once my arm goes down, I'll just do another test <clears throat> and I'm watching the preview, I mean, once my arm goes down in the preview, now it's back to being a crazy bad delay. Could be, it could be that it does it worse when I'm, uh, I am on the wireless mic. It could be that the longer I stream the audio, it just makes everything delayed. But let's, one, two, three, four, five. I go back to the SM58 and see if it makes any difference. <clears throat> now that's a super crazy long delay. I mean, I'm way done now. Still have not seen my hand come up again um, at all. Or did I go up and down and I missed it? I'll do it one more time, but I don't think so. Yeah. Looks like it froze. It did freeze. So maybe that setting is just really off. Back to the desktop. Let's go back. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. No, it just 
didn't like that. I'll do another test. One, two, three, four, five. It's actually a little better. Now I'm going to do the other camera before I... <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's actually better. Not good, but better. Filters. I am determined. Four thousand. Four thousand. Close. All right, I'm going to switch both of them first. Then I can... <coughs> Four, one, two, three. Close. Okay, now go back to the desktop. You kind of give them us a chance to reset. Now, this time I think I'll go to camera two. One, two, three, four, five. Now, see, now it's really super delayed. Okay, I don't even care if it ends up getting recorded. I'm getting tired. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Four, five. Maybe there is more of a delay in the settings taking effect than I realize. I mean, maybe the delay is because of the program is still working. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. See, I switched to both cameras, back to desktop, and then back to camera one, and it was a little better. One, two, three, four, five. As much as I'm changing it, you should see more results, I would think. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Still delayed. <coughs> I guess it can hurt to keep on trying. 4,500. Now we're getting up. I think I'll, I'll look and see. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to look. Well, let me do this. 4,500. Okay, now I'm going to go on the desktop. And I'm going to get on the web browser. I'm wondering how close to... <coughs> what? How many milliseconds makes a second? I can't remember. I actually used to know that. listen to my stream or anything lately oh yeah I wanted to try it with the mic the mic is always better than the wireless uh, I believe the wireless mic you know so I got 4500 milliseconds two seconds <coughs> okay so 4,500 milliseconds is 4.5 seconds. Well, that's crazy. That can't be right. I mean, that's not what I want, right? So conversion measurements. Okay, this little deal here will work pretty good. Uh, seven milliseconds. Okay, well, let's do it the other way. One second is 1,000 milliseconds. Okay, there you go. You should be able to, you know, you should be able to fairly well remember that then. So one second is 1,000 milliseconds. And that delay has been, you know, a half to a second. I've been seeing that. So I would think, you know, 500 milliseconds is half a second. So if I did a thousand milliseconds, I could be going so far I'm throwing myself around the bin and I just can't tell it. But you know, if there's four second delay, then there's something really, really wrong. And if I'm at I'm at uh oh, it's so wrong, you have to be on the camera that you're doing. If I'm at uh forty five hundred milliseconds, what did I just say? 
four and a half seconds. Yeah, four and a half seconds. So, yeah, my hand. Okay, so I'm going to change it back to a thousand, and I'm probably going to end up leaving it there. Either a thousand or five hundred milliseconds. That is really in the the maximum I would have thought. I just kept trying and trying because because I wasn't seeing it uh, going over the edge, as I would say, you know. I'll leave that page with the converter up there in case I want to, well, actually, I don't guess I need it, do I? I don't want to work the machine for nothing. Yeah, 1,000 milliseconds equals one second. So you can do that in your head. Even I, even I can do that. All right. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's not too bad. See, I, I had gone way beyond and just didn't. One, two, three, four, five. Wasn't somehow, how does it do that? It should go to the, see what should happen. If you've got too much, it should be that the video is ahead of it, not more and more behind. So doesn't make sense to me. Okay, now this one is, I'll set on a thousand. I'm gonna probably leave them on a thousand. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let's try that one one more time. It might, might, uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. It seems slower. Unless I've got my head turned around backwards. <clears throat> Where is it? Cam 3 to... Let's do this one at 500 and see if it actually gets better. I won't even switch it this time. No, it seems to be worse. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's worse. Well, let's get off of it and back on it to make sure that it's taking the change. This is true. <clears throat> okay, arm up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to go back to a thousand. I think that thousand is about as good as I'm going to get. <clears throat> I'm glad that they're telling you in milliseconds something that is a real representation, not an arbitrary number, because I used to just have what seemed like arbitrary numbers in there. And it was just impossible to target where you're going, you know. I figure they did that because they figured most people don't know what milliseconds from a <clears throat> flea on the dog's back. But <clears throat> anybody doing audio video is going to have some kind of comprehension of that. So, <clears throat> um, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. You see, it looks like it's still off, and I could, well, I already did this earlier, and I didn't hit the spot, so I could go 12. I did 1,200, 300, 400. I did all that. So I'm going to stay where I'm at, use it for a while, because I do know it fluctuates quite a bit, uh, no matter what you got it set at. This may be better. One, two, three, four. Five. That's not horrible, and it's been horrible. So, <laughs> <clears throat> wow, this way. I mean, I thought I'd spend 30 minutes doing this. Um, I'm going to look through my. I want to. I may have messed other things up. Let's look and see. Make sure I didn't uh, screen capture. Yeah, there shouldn't be any filters on that. Okay. Camera one, I've got gain 16 and video delay sync 1,000, one millisecond. I mean, 1,000 milliseconds. Okay, and the camera two, what's that? The video shouldn't have anything on it, any filters. No filters on it. Camera two, filters, 1,000 milliseconds really thinking about <clears throat> taking the, I think I might do it, let's see, filters, gain, and that's, what is that on, 
Why is there a gain on that one? On camera two, gain is 16 on the audio, okay. Maybe it does that video. Yeah, that one, that video channel has no, video stream has no audio gain set on it. But, and then the audio stream from camera three, it has audio gain, okay. Oh, <clears throat> I know why it has it. No, that's on the video. I can't show it, but uh, that is the video stream. Well, I could if I put the camera up there, but the video stream on camera two shows to have audio gain of 16, like I've been doing on all that other stuff. That's on the video. I probably did that by mistake. Now, filters on audio, cam three to two, just audio. 1,000 milliseconds, gain 16. And then audio cam 2, it has gain on it. I actually have it set to 17. But I'm thinking about taking the audio cam 2 completely out because it throws my... I don't really use it. I've actually figured out that... Well, there are times when I can use it, like if... Uh, I don't remember why. The, the only reason I really remember wanting to use it was if I wanted to do audio and video stream at the same time on one camera, but that never works. It's never worked, and I should just really remember that. But <clears throat> I don't want to take this out and mess things up, but it shouldn't be there. I don't need audio gain on a video-only stream. Okay. Yes, let's see if that messes things up. No, it didn't. So that was there. You can do that, but it's not going to help. I guess because it's a VLC stream, and well, just it just so happens. I don't know if it's just the way IP webcam works. Or I think it's actually the way VLC works. Yeah, a thousand milliseconds audio gain, sixteen. So the video stream, and the way you differentiate them. Can I show that? Okay, I can show that. I think. Okay, so here on the desktop, now if I go to properties of that stream, that audio, you do the IP address, port 8080, audio dot wave. Now, for the video stream, you do the same thing, but it's audio, it's video, I don't think it puts a, you don't put a dot, yeah, you don't put the dot wave, dot, you don't put video anything, just your IP address forward slash video, the word video and no trailing forward slash. With the uh, audio streams, it has to be uh, audio, just like that uh, audio dot wave. Um, but with video, it's just the word video. That's the only difference. That's how you get, uh, now you could, it's a VLC video stream that you're, you have set up here. Uh, you do it by going to, you know, if I wanted to add one, I'd say add and I'd go to, uh, VLC video source. Then see, here's all the other ones you could capture. I haven't really showed that, but all kind of different things you can do. And the two that I, the things I use is the audio and video from VLC, and uh, like this one is screen capture. Screen capture 1900, and that and and that captures no matter where I'm at on the computer, it gets it. There's different ways to do that. And some of them you might like, you might want to only capture a portion of a screen. What is it? X, S, H, M. That's the one I have. Uh, if you start at the top and work your way down, you might see, uh, well, there's a media source. That's how you get your, uh, like I play my music at the beginning and in and out. Uh, okay, video capture device. That would be whatever you have plugged in. Like if you have a web webcam, that's how you get your webcams. And, oh, a window X composite. That would only be one window. So once you, that can be good because you could say, especially if you have multiple desktops like I do, you could tell it to capture the other windows, but don't capture uh, the OBS. And so when you switch over to OBS to switch, uh, <clears throat> then you won't be seen. But the problem with that is, and there's a group 
problem with that for me is really just realizing where I'm at and what I'm doing. I'll end up not think, talking with my head off and I'm not showing anything, you know. So I just don't try to do that. And I'm not going to click around and mess things up because this all works good right here. Uh, all this time I've been trying to fix things. I don't want to mess things up. So, uh, yeah, I'm, all I want is an audio gain filter on every er, everywhere that I have the audio from Cam 3. And I can't show, again, you know, this but uh, yeah no no filters on the video just on the audio so I have a gain and a delay milliseconds I'm hoping that this is gonna make it a lot better this one camera two yeah it doesn't have any filters on the video and then this one has delay of a thousand milliseconds and gain of 16 audio cam two I'm going to export this before I edit it because I don't want to uh, profile. Oh, I don't think you can do that while you're live. You know what? I don't know if I can edit the profile while I'm live. You can't, I don't think. You can change settings, but you can't actually edit the profile. But what I think I'm going to do, see, I have an audio from Cam 2 in some of these, and it throws me off because it's always showing up in my audio section in the middle. Well, I can show that. I don't think I'm going to need to be able to. I may leave it for now. I'm tired. I might screw everything up. I think I will leave it. It doesn't always bother me, but we'll see a different scene. See, whatever scene you're in, it has a different amount of audio devices. So this one doesn't have it. This one just has audio cam 3 to desktop, desktop audio, and mic aux. That's simple and easy to read. And I, I, well, I still have to page up and down to see it all. But when I go to these other camera modes, some of them have a you know, an extra one audio from cam, from camera two, and it gets confusing. <coughs> uh, some have it, some don't. And uh, yeah, yeah, like that one has it, and it's at the top in the screen here. I don't think I can take it out. I'll try it. I guess I could, but I'm not going to do it right now. I think I will not do it while I'm making the video. Mm -hmm. Then. Yeah, camera three only has their separate audio wave and video. And then cams one and two has audio, two videos and one audio. And then Endoscope, it has audio from cam three. And see, it automatically gets, every channel automatically gets your mic aux. I wish you could set up with that, well, I wish you could just add a VLC stream. VLC stream is a main audio device, and that would be a lot easier. <laughs> That's why I'm going in circles, because you can't. You have to put them in each and every scene. So, uh, yeah, video. Now, the, the Endoscope is a video for Linux 2 device with an audio, and then video scope and cam 1 is, a, is the same thing, but with a camera 1, a video. And then this one is with camera two video added. And then and I have one set up with Endoscope and Cam 3 because sometimes I want to do that. And uh, same thing, just added the uh, Cam 3 audio, yeah, Cam 3 to audio to Endoscope. Okay, so I'm going to leave it. Yeah, I think I should not <coughs> do any more changing things in here. I, I may have it better. One, two, three, four, five. It is better because it was bad. Uh, I don't know if I can get a better sweet spot than that. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. You would think you could get it better than that. I've seen it better than that. I've seen it barely discernible, but it didn't last. Uh, I got it all set up and I had to set, usually had to set like camera one was usually not as bad as camera two. Maybe just because it's usually within a foot of the router and the other one's about six feet or ten feet away from the router. It could be what makes the difference. I mean, you would think it would, would be the one thing that would make the difference. You wouldn't think just being ten feet from the router would make hardly any difference. shouldn't be a discernible difference, I wouldn't think, but evidently it may. But anyway, uh, but I, when I do go walking around the house, uh, you don't really notice a lot, like I'll watch the videos back, until I get... You know, down the hall, when I get into the kitchen, 
Oh, that's almost to the other. And then I go out when I, as soon as I go through the door into the garage, that's when it starts lagging really bad. And if you try to, I've tried, I've done it anyway, just because I wanted to so bad, and I made videos in the garage. And and the longer you stay out there, the worse it gets. And so. And I was looking at switches today, and I may get one because I could get a. Actually, I saw a five port with really good reviews for twelve, about thirteen dollars. I really kind of want. That's kind of well. I was thinking I really want at least eight ports, but I looked and looked and looked and. Let's see, what did I finally decide? I think the only, I can't remember. I think I saw one for $18 that might be okay, or at least $25 maybe for an 8 port. Then I thought, well, wait a minute. 12 and 12 is 24, so it's really like $13. So for $26, I could buy two 5 port switches of that one that had really, really good reviews better than any of the 8 ports I was looking at. Yeah, like every, if you should, you know, if you buy like anything, I guess, but electronics is what I look at the most. You know that I don't care what brand it is or anything. You got to watch out because you'll get, you know, it may have 1,300 reviews. And last week, everybody was pretty happy. But this week, you've got five dead on arrival reviews or less than a week or less than a month or something. Things that tend, trend towards, <coughs> um, you know, being dead. I don't even want to risk it, you know. And, of course, then... Some of the others, that is one other thing you got to pay attention to if they only have like, some things have one review or three reviews or if you don't have at least, you know, 100 reviews, it's kind of hard to tell. Well, you can't, I kind of figured out a system in my mind. I've kind of noticed uh, if you got 10 reviews and they're all good but three, then there's probably something wrong with that product. But if you've got 50 reviews or 100 reviews, um, I'm going off. Um, anyway, now I can't even explain my way of thinking. I, I should just get on, you know, like I'm talking about Amazon. Get on there and show what I mean. But so anyway, uh, these cameras have run long enough to, if they were working at the beginning, they would begin to slow down on their, you know, start doing that. What I'm trying to cure. So, oh, two hours and two minutes. Oh, okay. When did I go from like an hour and a half to two hours? Just now? Just like two seconds ago? So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Mm. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to leave it like that and let's hope that it's better. And, uh, it's eight. Yeah, I'm tired, hungry. So, yeah, I won't do any more work tonight. And I got some stuff done today. Not everything I wanted to get done, but got my router. I put in my new router. I'm really happy that I'm really happy that at least sometimes it gets. Uh, well, that's part. That's kind of pertains to what I'm doing here. So let's do a speed test before I go. <coughs> that actually, you know, really does pertain. Not only, of course. Like I said, the Wi-Fi is supposed to do 1,200 megabits, and the wire uh, even more than the wired, which is a thousand, you know, a gigabit's a thousand megabits. So we'll just do a regular, the regular speed test dot site, speed test dot site. Do it. Uh, earlier I did it right before I started because I wanted to see what I was starting with, but going to the internet from this machine, and of course I did one on my, one of my phones earlier. And it was pretty good, really, for those phones. So uh, I'm not having a latency issue because of the phone's Wi-Fi. Like I was beginning to think maybe it's getting really crappy or something. I thought, well, you know, the phones are actually several years old now. There were there were old models when I bought them. That's why I got them for fifteen dollars each. That's why I have three of them, <laughs> fifteen dollars each. And uh, and of course now, well, they're Android four point three. If that might tell you a little bit about how old they are, Alcatel a eight forty five Ls. That's what they are. Okay, see, now on this side, I'm getting two hundred and thirteen uh, down and nine fifty six up right now. And uh, get me a screenshot. I'm trying to remember. Okay, the best way for me to get to the sites I want to. Is go to my little yeah internet speed test sites. 
There we go, Spectrum Server. They like they want you to use this one, my ISP. They used to tell me to use that one I just used, <coughs> but uh, I think that was just the text. But uh, this is their very own speed test server. They, I don't think they, they didn't used to have one. Now they do, I guess. Uh, but, of course, that only tells you how fast it is between them. Oh, it's ready to go. Uh, it does only tells you how fast it is between them and you. That doesn't tell you the real speed out on the Internet. So, um, I don't, um, you know, I don't uh, completely go by this. It's fine to use it, but you got to go, you got to use more uh, than just, you know, the one testing straight back to your ISP. That's just a... That's just a, how fast can you go down one road, you know? How, ca how fast can you go down one road and come back, you know? Or how fast can... Anyway, you know. Anyway, about the same. Almost the same as what I just got. So that's that's an interesting uh, thing there. Uh, that other one was, I think it went to Dallas. This is going to Fort Worth. And I'm, I'm within like 12 miles of Fort Worth. So, of course, there's a lot more things than just how far... You, no, it's not like driving down the road. Uh... I'm within, uh, because, you know, the routes that it takes and everything is all different, you know, all the different machines you're going to. So this, this is one I really like now, uh, testmy.net. It, it can do, it can do just one speed test, but you got to pay attention. Uh, there, it starts out defaulted to only download. Well, I always want to know both. I'm streaming all the time. So you get over to the third little radio button, and then that's out of line. On There's nothing you can do. All this wasted space. The whole reason I got a 23-inch or 24-inch monitor was so that everything had to be spread out, and I, you know, I wouldn't have this junk out of out of spot. But the, the problem is, the whole world's gone to tablets and phones, and so they're squinching everything together again. They're squinching it down more than they did when everybody had 15-inch monitors, or CRT monitors, and so now, you know, just when things were beginning to be readable, they they quit designing websites to be readable again. They designed them for a tiny little old screen. Uh, you can do, you can join this and they'll let you do five minutes, but I guess I never have joined it. So anyway, got, you have to log in and stuff. And you can do oh, as many times as you want. I don't want more than five times. This is automatic. It's gonna keep running every 10 minutes, but you could do every five minutes, but let's try it. I don't think it'll let you. Uh, it'll tell you, yeah, you can't do more than 10 minutes. Hopefully I didn't lose all what I just did there. Yes, I did. So that's how it defaults, see. So this is what I'm saying. It looks very confusing. And I don't know what it looks like in Chrome. I don't like using Chrome, so I don't bother with opening it up. It, it uses too many resources, even on this quad core. So <clears throat> I don't even like waiting for it to open up. Okay, so automatic. And you can set more parameters if you're really into it and you, you understand all this stuff. Uh, I don't get that much into it. Uh, but this will automatically pick what they, it thinks is the optimal upload file to upload and download uh, every 10 minutes, five times. I'll just start it and let it do one and then go on, you know. But, uh, I mean, now that I'm uh, getting, I was getting with the new, they gave us 200 megabits uh, down and 10 up a month or two ago. And my old router was, the max it can do is 197 or something like that megabits down. And so it, it just, it, but it never did that. Well, I don't know, I might have saw it do 180 once or twice, but it generally stayed around 130, 135. And uh, the new router immediately did that 213 like that. And then when I did this, it was more like this. Now, this is a little better right now. It was last night, the other day, yeah, I put that modem in yesterday. So this is just the second day. Uh, 173 uh, down and 8.3 up. Uh, but it, it fluctuates. Your internet speed, my internet speed, let's say yours, mine, it fluctuates. Now that I've been using this automatic speed test, it fluctuates a lot more than I realize because, you know, you don't keep testing your internet every 10 minutes. Well, this will do it for you. And uh, <clears throat> yesterday it was ranging anywhere from about 184 to 45 megabits down. And the speed here didn't, write, the upload didn't actually change all that much. And so the one we're concerned with right now is the upload speed. So I'm getting anywhere from 8.3 to 11. Well, what did I get? 9.9 .9 or something? I didn't get 10 this time a while ago. I've already forgot what I just saw. But I can look on my, look on my, uh, um, 
go ahead and install. I always open my file browser to go to to do anything. Uh, anytime I want to open a file, I go straight from my file browser. And sometimes that's not actually the quickest way to do it, but that's just how I've always uh, just preferred to work. I used to leave it open all day. I used to. I used to leave all my favorite apps open all day. Now let's see what it's going to open with. I've been experimenting around with different. Yeah, it's still set to Gwen View. What was the last one? Shotwell. That's the one I was trying to set it to. It, some of these apps, when you set it in the preferred applications, it'll use them, and sometimes it won't. Uh, Crusader, that is. It's not uh, not moving when I hit my keyboard. Let's see. There we go. I have to click in there first. Okay, so 173 down, 0.8 uh, down, 8.3 up. And then 213.9, see that's a huge difference. So obviously their server makes them look better because it's just one run to them and back to you. Uh, <clears throat> it's not going out over the internet and checking uh, typical usage, you know. Uh, typical paths that, that internet users use. Um, and they do have servers close to you. It's not like you're going all the way to California or something, but I've actually noticed there's not that much difference. If you pick California, you can do that on that other one. Um, 213.9 uh, down in the 9 port. Now, see, anyway, been, just earlier today, I was getting 11 upload. And this was about the same. See, almost just really close. Earlier today, yeah, earlier today, 214 and 11 up, 11 and a half, 11.49. Yeah, I was trying to get this. This is the photo gear. See, I set it in this preferred applications. Some apps take effect when you do that, and some don't. I just noticed recently. Normally, I've always used, uh, I tried to use iMate. It wouldn't do it. Uh, I guess that's all, all I've got in that. This one's all right. I've used that shot well. I'm just trying to find one that that do a little bit of basic video uh, picture editing, image editing when you just click on it in the file browser like that. Um, if I really want to get serious, I'll use GIMP. But uh, anyway, uh, I closed it already. But used to, you could just, inside a Crusader, if you wanted Crusader to open something up, you had to right click on the file I mean, you could do it probably in the command line or something, but right click on the file and say, and open up the properties and then say, there's a little button. It's still there, but it won't activate. It won't do anything. Uh, just notice that in Fedora 28. Uh, and you say, okay, associate these, just kind of like Windows, you know, associate uh, these, this extension with this program. And that's the way I've always done it. Uh, <clears throat> that does, will not work. You click on that window all day long, it won't do anything. So I don't know. I would really like that to work again. So. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, see, and when you first switch, it does have a better delay almost every time. Uh, <clears throat> and if all you're doing is talking, it's not all that noticeable. If you do something like that, you can really tell. You see, that's really bad, though. Now, let's see if it gets any better. It still hasn't got any better. Put my hand, arm up. See, it hasn't even got to my other, my left hand being down off my mouth yet. I was just being natural and talking. So if I, I don't know, I'm going to go to the desktop. Sometimes, I guess maybe sometimes switching to another camera. Let's just, a while ago I noticed if I switched to camera two, okay, that's pretty quick. One, two, three, four, five. It's, it's I don't know. Okay, now there's camera one again. Okay, arm up. Not so, not quite so bad. One, two, three, four, five. See, it's half a second behind or something. Well, that's at least livable. Uh, but yeah, if you're using LBS and you're doing Wi-Fi camera streaming like I'm doing, cameras or phones, I've never done it with a, you know, some cameras can do Wi-Fi streaming. And, of course, it would depend on their chip as to how well they would work. They might not have as good a chip as a phone, good of a Wi-Fi chip. When I say chip, I mean Wi-Fi chip. Um, oh, Mike. <coughs> now, this is actually, you know, the toughest thing on it, and that's doing it with the, that's the Wi-Fi audio as well. So let me get the mic up. 
show you what it is I'm saying here. So I'm using the Cam 3 audio. That's streaming audio over Wi-Fi as well as so we'll the So we'll get on this. So we'll get now we have an echo. We've got we have both of them going. Because they're not synced with each other, and you can't get them synced. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay, now, let me switch to... This time I'll go to Cam 2, because likely it seems to like that better. And I'm on the uh, SM58. Okay, arm up. One, two, three, four, five. It's not too bad, and like I said, uh, it's usually not as delayed as much in the recording as it is, or on the stream. You know that yeah, that's a recording too. But anyway, when you watch it back on uh, the stream on YouTube or the recording, I save on my desktop. It's usually not as bad as it looked in in my preview on OBS Studio. Now, it, there's probably some more latency in seeing your preview, your live preview. I'm sure there is. Okay, now arm up. One, two, three. Four, five. That's a little better, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if I just raise my hand and start doing it, it seems a little more of a delay. Of course, maybe I'm okay. We'll do this. Arm up. Wait till it's already up. One, two, three, four, five. I may be moving faster than I think I am. Starting my count faster than I think I am. But now that's. Okay, I think maybe this was worth it. <laughs> I was getting really frustrated when it just seemed to go go all over the place. <clears throat> Get a little better, a little worse, a little better, a little worse. Now, I guess what I did was just go to an extreme. <coughs> well, I mean, I was I was a thousand milliseconds. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It's where I'm at now. See, that's a good thing about the SM58. I can completely get away from it. <clears throat> and with that lapel right here, you can't get away from that. You can turn your head, but it doesn't make really any difference. So, um, yeah, I went all the way up to, what, four and a half, five milliseconds? I think I got to four and a half when I finally said, okay, this has got to be way too far. <clears throat> so. Yeah, and that's just going to keep on running tests. Is it done anymore? I don't know. It had something in 10 minutes. I don't think it's done anymore. Oh, and down here at the bottom of the page is where your results are, and you can click on something here. Oh, it says my logged in results. I'll click on that. Hold down control so that I don't lose that page. See, uh, there's a graph. <clears throat> and see the average speeds, 157 down. This is over, I don't know how long of a time. Uh 8.7 up, max speeds. So uh, that must just be like in the last day or two because, see, it's really raised a lot. See, I was never getting that high. I was only getting like 130, 135. Um, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, something's got me kind of confused here. Okay, 157 megabits down. Oh, that's like the comparison. Okay, 8.7 megabits up. That says max 173 down. So the most this has ever seen it at is 173. And I guess that's a difference of the next number. But that says 86.8 megabits up. Um, it's actually seen that? I never saw that. I never saw over 11 into something. It says it saw 86 up. That's wild. You think? I did upload my... See, I made a video of installing my modem, and I couldn't do it live because I was disconnecting my modem, so I just made a video and then uploaded it this morning. I wonder if it... Uh, during that time, some, somehow, it was trying, you know, the, the systems, the whole thing, the whole charter, not my computer, but charter and all that. They recognized me uploading, and they actually opened it up. I, don't know, I think it was probably they were just working on it. What I have seen things go really, really high like that, or really, really low, when they're working on things. And I think they're still working on the upgrades in this town, you know, in our little Anyway, I don't know. 
That's pretty wild. Never seen anything like that ever. Okay, and I do do think that this is an accurate site though, because I've compared it for. I think I've been using it well six months, maybe even a year. I don't remember anymore. Been comparing it back to the other sites, and uh, <clears throat> like I said, when you keep testing every ten minutes and do five in a row or two or three in a row, a lot of times I'll stop it before it gets done. You get to see the trend. You know, you start seeing the trend. Now down here in the bottom, it's harder for me to understand because they got it in a weird layout. The little arrow is upload. That's the size, though. See the arrows right here. <laughs> so this is upload, but the, this is size of the file uploaded. 8.29 megabits. That was the last test. The download uh, <clears throat> it's 129 megabits that it downloaded. The speed is 173. I expect it to be like upload, download, upload, download. Just like it is up above there. Or download, upload, I mean. So anyway, so you got to really pay attention to what this actually says. It's not like a graph that you can read. It's more like a sentence, just a regular sentence. Even though it's laid out like a graph, like a spreadsheet. And I like spreadsheets. They make sense to me. Not a graph. This is a graph. Spreadsheet. This is laid out like a spreadsheet without the, uh, like an Excel spreadsheet without the, uh, you know, little squares. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, kind of tired. <clears throat> Can't really read any more of this stuff off. <coughs> oh, now something went wrong. Because I still see my face, but I'm over here on the desktop. Yeah, what went wrong is the is the uh, is the master control operator. <clears throat> I used to be a master control operator at a TV station. Sorry, Dad, come in. So this whole time I've been showing graphs and talking about numbers that you saw my pretty little face instead. Yeah, the uh, <clears throat> all this I was saying the uh, average speed um, 157 down, 8.7 up. Max speed 173 down, and it says 86.8 up. That's what it says. And that's what was making me go what. And then I was saying here, the sentence format here, size, 6.3 megabytes up, 8.29. Size, 123 megabytes, file download, speed, 173, and then so on and so on. So it's, but it's laid out like a spreadsheet, but it's not written out. It, I mean, all you need to do is just have like, if you're going to have, actually, if they put, should put the size on the end, you should have like download, Cause see up here it says I almost it's always download upload every site I've been to for years <clears throat> ever since I've been using them so in this graph or the, not graph this is a graph and that shows you the trend in a graph format uh, this spreadsheet if it would say download upload and then if they want to put the file size after that and actually if it had the you could see the graph lines you know then I could read it better that helps me a lot but even so, I could read it if it just, it, it depended on that tiny little thing that I barely even realized was even there, that little icon for you to know whether it's an upload or a download test. They should put the word upload, download, you know. And they shouldn't be uh, under and over. They should be, like, this should be download, this should be upload, and then over here should be another column with uh, size, file size. It should say file size. And then... Uh, user provider and all so on and so on so <clears throat> and this still stays even when you I, I i've been meaning i've always ever since i got it i started liking it i thought well i'll sign up but i never have <clears throat> i'll never want to fool around long enough to do it but um let's see how many have we done just now let's see this is 831 Okay, so one, two, three, four. So I've done four tests since it started. It's just about done. So uh, it's working really well. So none of that, you know, none of my problems, if my internet speed test is that good, then, of course, my local internet internet is fine. And, well, I even proved it. But, of course, that was the internet speed test on the phone. But that's, that's it going to the internet. But that also tells you, like with the phone, since they can't do the max 
of my local network, then you know whatever the max you get on the phone is, well, that's the best you've got on the phone, internet or not. Since now that our internet, you know, used to your internet was slower than your than your hundred megabits. Well, now of course, I've got only only have. Let's see, the machine I'm on is a gigabit, so it's good for this kind of test. It's a gigabit uh, built-in Ethernet. And then I have another machine, the one I re- <coughs> actually sadly the the AS one I call AS Rock has the AS Rock motherboard in it. It had a gigabit built-in Ethernet, but as soon as I put that eight-core processor in it and the four gig of RAM. <coughs> It uh, wouldn't work, and I don't know if I can download a driver, but I went ahead and just put a hundred meg. All I had uh, an old hundred uh, megabit Ethernet card in it <clears throat> to get it working, and I prayed that it may end up being like a bug, you know, because that when that motherboard was made, it did support eight core processors, but there was only a few made yet, <clears throat> and so it's not in the list of supported processors, but it does work. The eighty three hundred that I have in it. <laughs> And it's not really going to matter to her. She doesn't do any network at all, just Internet. So, <clears throat> well, it will be kind of bad that she's stuck to 100 megabits and she can't get 175 like me downloads. But she's not. she don't watch videos or anything either, so I don't think she would ever notice it. But if I can make it work right, I will before I, <clears throat> if I ever get done with all this other junk. Uh, I need to fix my server still and then try to finish her machine. I could buy another motherboard <clears throat> that's one that's compatible to that processor, you know, spend seventy five or eighty five dollars. But I hated to do that <clears throat> if if it's not necessary. That would be better though than go I was thinking I could buy an Ethernet card, but that'd be silly. gone long enough that well i took a i guess part of it's oh it's hot in here now i don't feel i don't feel hot but it's hot in here well it's kind of weird my legs feel cool but my breath my breathing it feels like i'm breathing hot air and it's 79 and a half degrees in here now so uh <clears throat> but my drainage has come back really bad and i just can't even really talk but i took a cold pill when I started at the no, after I'd already started this video well it's been two and a half hours now I can ramble like the be- with the best of them <clears throat> and it's funny because when I'm not making videos I don't talk to or anyone I don't like talking on the phone I don't talk to anyone I just do my stuff on the computer or if I feel good I go outside and work on something good okay see now I can see that it's lagging and that's a crazy thing because now I bet lately, I don't, for usually if you click on desktop and back on the camera, let's see, that didn't take too long. It's not bad. But now, tonight, I click on camera two, click on camera one. And well, it's, and it's still a bit of a delay. One, two, three, four, five. See, that's like a three finger delay. That's what I call it. <clears throat> so, uh, I think that is somewhat of a success. It's been really, I've been really putting it off, and I thought, man, my videos are getting bad, you know, with that. I mean, I was looking at back in some of my videos, and I'm just sitting there with my mouth not even moving whatsoever, but I'm talking away. I thought that looked ridiculous. And I even think there was a few times where the camera actually froze, you know. But uh, and if this one is just getting old and wearing out this camera one this phone one I can always use a different camera but I've seen this come and go come and go so much that I don't think it's you know I don't think that's what it is <clears throat> I don't think it would used to it was camera two that was always the one that would uh, lag the most now all of a sudden it's this one for the last couple of week or two <clears throat> all right there we go there's uh, everything you didn't ever need to know about OBS Studio, or that I, everything that I've somewhat figured out by the seat of my pants, just lying by the seat of my pants. I did, you know, watch some vid- bunch of videos and read. Uh, well, I didn't read up on it a whole lot because that's one thing I love about OBS Studio is it is so easy to figure out by just going through the user interface. Well, if you already understand audio video programs, 
the basics of them. You know, I've been using them since they invented them. You know, so, I mean, no, well, not since they invented them. I didn't have any in the 90s. Since 90, I started, the 98 is when I started really getting, really learning about computers. Uh, 92 is when I first learned to use Windows 3.1, <laughs> make a spreadsheet, do stuff like that. And I did know about digital you know, computer video editing over the years, but I never got to touch any of it until 98. It was probably more like 99 or 2000 when I really got a video editing program. I mean, well, when, when first thing I remember using was Windows Movie Maker. When they came out with that, uh, well, somewhere, you know, like I said, 98, 99, 2000, I used it and then immediately started finding, you know, freeware programs and shareware and all that. 90, and then 05, you know, I got into Linux and, of course, I already knew how to use all the Windows stuff, and so then I got into the Linux applications and learning about them. <clears throat> and they were so much better, not restricted. Some of them did, uh, well, Windows video editing programs always crashed randomly. Some Linux video editing programs since 2005 did the same, or maybe a little worse, but some like Kdenlive. Live. Kdenlive Live would work really well but once in a while it would just crash but i would you could set a setting in the program to save your work every like three minutes and uh so you hardly lost very much work uh but now it hardly ever crashes like so since like fedora 23 i think is when i noticed it it doesn't crash anymore and some of the other programs didn't crash much at all uh like pitvi and oh i don't why am I talking about video? Well, if I'm going to talk about it, I might as well show it. I don't think I have that many on this machine. I have, since I started using OBS, I don't bother to edit. I, I've got videos still to this day that I made that I never edited and uploaded. I made one on my TRS, Radio Shack TRS-80 that I still haven't ever edited. So all I have on here, see, I don't even have, <coughs> I don't have a single video edi- editing program in this list when I just type video of course this is all kinds of editors I may not have ever bothered to install any I don't have Kden live on here I guess I hadn't realized that uh, yeah bluefish bluetooth there's one oh open shot I don't have the three main ones that I've ever used, I don't have on there. It looks like I don't have any video editing. How come I don't have any video editing? Creation. This is, I installed the, uh, you know, I used, I built my shell scripts and installed stuff by groups. Uh, there it is, PITV. I just spelled it wrong. I got, there's PITV. And maybe. Maybe the sometimes that I use the XFCE app finder there. That's what I'm using to search for apps. Sometimes it doesn't find everything. Yeah, I don't see Kaden Live. I remember it. Seems like it wouldn't run in Fedora 23, so maybe I hadn't installed it in here yet because I want to, you know, I didn't want. I wanted to be ready to fool with it and see if it's, you know. That's the only one I have on there. <clears throat> so anyway, but I haven't. I do live editing. <laughs> So, uh, you know, all events occur in real time. That's the way I do it now. So, because uh, I, I just just can't. You have to have a machine running for hours and hours, maybe, depending on how fast it is. Last time I edited a video, I did it on my Pentium 4 because I could just, I could, I don't want to edit on this machine because then I can't use it until it's done. So if it takes two, four, eight, you know, eight hours, 12 hours, the, my Pentium 4, I did a video on it, like a two-hour video, and it took like, 24 hours to render it but I was okay you know it was a little no a little noisy but and it was I guess winter or something where I could stand the heat that thing makes a lot of heat but uh, <coughs> but I didn't I don't want like I, the loud machines I just got to where I can't stand any noise whatsoever anymore one good thing about this low Wi-Fi it's very very quiet I can't hear it at all I can hear this laptop that I'm using to preview my stream when it warms up I can hear its fan but it's not bad. It's only 
1.6 gigahertz single core with two giga RAM. Well, my Dell 1525 that mom's using right now is what I usually use for this. It's a dual core with three giga RAM, but it's got a Radley fan, and when it gets warmed up and gets hot, that fan goes nuts. So, uh, quit rambling. Talking about rattling on, rattling, prattling, rambling. <clears throat> That's what I'm doing. So, I'm going to go before I start another rant. It's not raining, I'm just rattling. Okay. Uh, see, the nice thing about video is you can always stop it, fast forward, skip, go back, stop it. <laughs> I know it's nicer when they're edited, but I just can't bring myself to get all that done. It takes all the time I have just to do the work itself, and being able to just make the video live is really the only way I can I can do it. Okay. Bye bye.